So I've already opened up D expansion and I've renamed it to 2 D expansion. And we are going to be using the P payment function to determine the principal portion of the payment. And if any of you have ever taken out a loan, you know when you first start paying it back, most of what you're paying is interest. <laughs> so knowing how much principal is being paid off can be kind of useful. So what we're gonna do is activate cell C10. And we are going to go into the formula ribbon. We want the financial functions. And we're gonna kind of scroll down and look for P payment. And we will select that. And the rate is 5.15, so we're gonna click on that cell. And remember, rate is yearly, and we are interested in the monthly principal payment or principal portion. So we have to make this yearly rate into a monthly rate by dividing it by 12. And then we're going to click on periods. And we want to know the principal paid on the very first loan payment. So we're going to enter a one here. And then for the total number of periods, we are going to click on C5 which is 20 years. And remember, we're dealing with months. So at this point, we've got C5, and we're gonna multiply that by 12, and that will give us the number of months. Then we're gonna click on present value, which is the amount of our loan. So we're gonna click right here on C6. And at this point, we are gonna go ahead and click OK. Um, we're gonna leave future value empty. That would be the balance at the end of the loan. Okay, so if you leave it blank, it's assuming zero, which would be true, it would be paid off. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And what you should see is the $1,853.05. And remember, this is money out of your pocket. That is why it is shown uh, as a negative value. And in this particular spreadsheet, negatives are displayed in red and in parentheses. So above this, is the monthly payment. That is how much you're paying every month. And out of this monthly payment, that is the amount that goes towards the principal. The rest is going towards the interest. Now they also want us to figure out how much uh, the total loan payments are going to be. And we've done this little calculation, I believe, before, but we're gonna key in a equal sign. And we're gonna click on the monthly payment. We're gonna multiply that by 12, because that'll put it in years. And then we're gonna multiply that by the number of years, which is 20. Okay, so for this amount that we are borrowing over the course of the 20 year loan, that is what we are paying back. And at this point, we are going to go ahead and save our changes. Now, they do want us to copy and paste uh, so that we can kind of compare these loans. So let's select our monthly principal here. 
We'll do a copy and a paste. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Copy, paste. And then we'll just take a look and make sure they're accurate. So we've got E4 divided by 12. They want to know about the first payment. Uh, E5 times 12 is correct. E6 is the amount. So that all looks good. And this is the amount that goes towards principal. And that is our total amount that we are paying back. So at this point, we have all of the information that they are requesting. So we will save and close the workbook.